Hey, this is Aaron Nottestead. I'm a developer with TempWorks Software. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our new tax pay system. It's a system that we've developed to help automate tax payments and filings for both federal and state agencies. The basis for our tax pay system is a wizard that basically automates all of the processes that you would normally have to complete manually. It goes through your entire database and checks for taxes that need to be paid. It lets you know when they're due, and it generates all of the necessary forms, MEG media, and everything associated with that to complete your filing with both federal and state governments. In most cases, when you come to the tax pay form, the first thing you're going to see is this list of open tax pay runs. The way that we've set up the tax pay system is that every night it will automatically check to see if there are any taxes that need to be filed and when they're due. If there are any taxes that are coming up very soon that need to be filed, the system will automatically create a tax pay run for you. That means that when you come into the tax pay system here, you'll see an open run that's waiting for you to process. To create a new tax pay run, you first come into the tax pay system here and hit the plus button right here to start a new run. This will launch the tax pay wizard that will set up everything that you need to complete the process. The first thing that you'll see is some criteria that you need to set initially so the system knows which taxes to bring in. I'm going to choose a standard tax pay run which pulls in all state taxes and choose my high tech staffing entity. This will go out and search for all taxes that have been paid under this EINC that are going to be due very soon. So here you can see your list of all of your tax authorities with the amounts that are due. From here you can choose which ones you want to pay or not pay at this time and continue from there. So I'm going to choose a couple of uh, different authorities here that I want to pay. And once you've chosen the authorities that you want to pay, just hit next to proceed to the next screen. This will pull in all of the transactions for those authorities that you're about to pay so you can review which ones you want to pay at this time. If you see a given check in here that you don't want to pay, you can pull that out of the run and continue from there. This allows you also to jump to the employee record or the check record if you want to verify the taxes before you continue. Once you've verified all of the transactions that you want to pay at this time, go ahead and click Next. The wizard then will go ahead and create what we call a staged bill. And this is basically a, a proofing screen for a user to come through and see what is about to be paid. Each stage bill contains information about the authority that you're going to pay, the EINC that you're paying it for, the due date of the form, it'll show you the filing method, and any tax forms that need to be filed with this bill. You'll also be able to verify the amounts and see any adjustments that need to be paid on this as well. Consider this page to be kind of the, the working page or the workflow of actually paying this bill. There are a lot of different functions that we allow you to use. When you have a staged bill selected, you can view filing information. And this is where you can look up different custom instructions that you give for yourself, such as a website that you need to log into for the authority, a uh, username and password associated with that, or any other sort of custom filing instructions that you have for this tax authority. We can also add adjustments or correction lines to this bill. For example, if there's a late fee or if there's some other sort of penalty, you can add that into the bill at this time. When you add an adjustment, you'll see it show up here, and that will reflect in the net bill amount. You can also edit or delete any adjustments from here after you've added them as well. One of the other cool features of this part of the wizard is being able to actually preview the tax form that needs to be filed with a bill. So for the bill that I have selected here, I'm paying the New York Tax Authority and I need to file an NYS1 form with it. I can click this button right in here next to the form to actually preview and see what that tax form is going to look like before I print out the final copy. So you can see here it generates the form as it'll be filed and you can verify that the numbers are accurate. Once you've verified that everything on your staged bill is accurate and ready to be filed, all you have to do is mark off the checkbox to mark it as approved. 
Continue down the line and do this for all of the bills that you want to pay. And once you're satisfied that you have your bills ready to approve, go ahead and hit Next, and this will show you the summary of what you're about to post. All you need to do then is hit the Post button, and this will take care of actually going through and creating all of the AP bills, generating all of the forms, Meg Media, and creating everything that it needs in the system to actually pay this tax bill. Once your tax bills have been posted, go ahead and hit Next, and this will take you to the printing page. If there are tax forms that need to be printed, you can hit Print Now, and this will print everything out to the printer that you choose. If you have magnetic media files that need to be saved as well, you can do that at this point. Or you can also skip printing if there's nothing to be printed. Once your printing is complete, the wizard will show you a summary of everything that happened in this tax pay run. So you can see that we created three bills for the amount of $36.73. You can see the bills individually that were posted for the given tax authorities, which printed tax forms there are, and which make media files were exported.